Okay, guys, I decided to do a updated Dooney and Burke collection. Um, I got interrupted once, so I'm going to have to redo most of this. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, I'm going to start with this one. I believe this is the Pocket Crossbody. It's in the Florentine leather, and it is in the color chestnut. It has a pocket in the front and a zipper pocket in the back there. And it's a, it's a pretty good size little crossbody if you want to go like shopping or something. And it has a tassel pull for the zipper. And then on the inside it just has one slip pocket in the front and one zip pocket in the back. If you can see that there. Um, and it also has a key keeper. I'm pretty sure all of these, except for maybe my Alto and my um, vintage bags that I have, um, have the key keeper. Okay. So this is the mini Chelsea in the color smoke gray. Sorry, mini Chelsea and the pebble grain leather in the smoke gray color with like the caramel trim. And this is in the shiny gold hardware. Has feet on the bottom. And it has the normal Dooney and Burke pockets on the inside and the crossbody straps also in there. Okay. If you see a bag that you want to really in depth review on, if I don't already have one on my channel, I will do one for you. Just leave it in the comments below before I move on I won't feel like I should say that okay so this one let me bring it in front here this is the saddlebag I believe I've already shown this in one of my videos um I think it's a saddle it's not saddlebag it's like the um I don't remember what this one's called because those are the saddlebags so I'm not sure what this is called but anyways pocket in the back and a pocket right here, and then the normal Dooney pockets on the inside. And this one, I feel like I have the need to show this to you. This one also has a leather key keeper with the shiny gold. So, this was an older bag, I think. Um, it's in the black Florentine leather. Okay, this is my Samba Hobo in gray. Um, this is the only Samba bag I have. Um, it has Sierra trim, um, no pockets in the back, it has feet on the bottom, and a pocket in the front with this nice lock here, which I really like. It's in the shiny gold hardware, um, zipper top, and it just has all the normal pockets on the inside. So I don't really feel like there's a need to show you guys that. I'm just kind of like getting them out, because I just wanted to get them out and look at them myself just so I can see what I have. and. I thought I'd make a video because I always enjoy these. Okay. This is the sandwich satchel in the color gray. This is in the Florentine leather. Has the um, chestnut trim, I believe it's what it's. No, it's the brown Timoro trim. That's what it is, the brown Timoro. Um, with the whipped stitching on the handles. This one has feet on the bottom. Um, pleating detail. Um, tassels on either side. And it also has a um, crossbody or shoulder strap that you can attach, which is right here on the D-ring. And then on the inside, it just has the standard pockets. And there's the back of it. Okay. So these are my two um, Kingston hobos. I have so many things that I kind of forget the names unless it's something I recently looked at and made a video about. Um two Kingston Hobos. This one is in the natural and I got this one first off of eBay. Brand new with tags. Um, and then I bought this one off of eBay. Um, this one is in the chestnut color I believe. I believe it's the chestnut although it kind of looks reddish in some light so I'm I'm pretty sure it's the chestnut though. So in the chestnut color and these have um, the standard pockets on the inside in the zipper pull here with the double zipper pull of the tassels, a nice adjustable thick shoulder strap, and they have two slip pockets here in the front, and then underneath of the that they have two, there's two magnetic pockets on both backs, and there's nothing on the back, and they have feet on the bottom. So there are those. Next I have my Clayton satchel. And this is the one I got myself for Christmas, if you saw that video. Um, this is, this also has the double tassel zipper pull at the top. The two slip pockets in the front here. And then the two magnetic pockets at the bottom. 
but this also has this is more of a satchel satchel style and it has the double handles at the top and here's the um, attachment for the crossbody strap which is on the inside of the bag and then it has a zipper with also a tassel pull zipper pocket on the back it's nice and big and it also has feet on the bottom and this is the Clayton satchel in the Florentine leather in baby pink okay now I'm gonna get into a couple of my favorite favorite bags okay I'll go with this one first this is the Flor Dooney and Burke Florentine leather zip flap fold over in black this was also kind of one of my Christmas presents to myself um, has tassels on either side um, a zipper pocket in the back which is also nice and big um, two magnetic pockets right here and it has this big like pocket this is the main compartment of the bag that has all the regular standard uni and burke pockets and it also has the secret compartment that goes all the way down and that's why it's called the zip flap fold over which i have a review slash like what's in my bag of this i think um and it has a really long adjustable crossbody strap that you can also make a shoulder bag if you take that out it can be a little short shoulder bag right there okay this is also a favorite bag of mine these are my let me see if i can remember Mail satchels, Dooney and Burke mail satchels in the Toledo leather. This one is in the color purple, I believe is all it's called, purple. And this one is in fuchsia. And as you can see, I did scratch this one. So, okay. They both have these uh, whip stitching with the uh, coordinating. And this looks blue again, I'm sorry. My other video I did of this looks blue too. I don't know how I can get it not to be blue. But it is purple, I promise. Um, they have these whip stitching with the color, which I really like. That's one of the reasons I really like the Toledo, because it really shows the color. I wish they did that with everything. Um, and then places to attach the shoulder, crossbody strap, tassels on either side that are also in the same color. They have feet on the bottom. And it also has like the matted gold hardware. Okay, let me see if I can get to these bags over here. These are my saddle bags. As you can see, the bags that I have, like, multiples of, like, I have two of these ba this bag, two of those bag, and the Kingston's over there. I really, really like these bags. They're, like, my favorites. Um, not to say I don't like the other ones. I just don't, haven't gotten another one of them, some of them. But I really like these bags. Okay. So this is a saddle bag in the Florentine leather. Um, this one is in baby pink and this one is in natural. Okay. So in the back here, there's like this button pocket that goes the entire length of the bag. Um, it opens up with these two snaps here. And then you have all the main normal little pockets and the key keeper and then you also have these really really big pockets right here um and then it just snaps kind of right here to close with magnetic snaps and this one you can also take the long crossbody strap take that part out and make it a shorter a shoulder bag but i prefer them crossbody Okay, so this one's a natural, exactly the same thing. This one has a nice patina on it. Um, there's no feet on the bottom of these. Um, so there are those. And we're almost done, guys. I think there's only like five more bags, maybe. This one is my um, Dooney and Burke domed pocket satchel or east-west pocket satchel. It's called different things. Um, it's in the color taupe. Um, Florentine leather has this big pocket here in the front with a magnetic closure pocket here in the back um, what else tassel zipper pull feet on the bottom um, has this like whip stitching around the bag